Hey guys, it's Vintage Vinny, and I have a thrift store, eBay, consignment shop, and wish haul to share with you today. Yesterday, one of my former coworkers and friends came up from my old town just because she had a vet appointment for her cats. And uh, while we were waiting for that to be done, we were able to go to some of the thrift shops in my area, and I actually found some pretty decent stuff this go around. I guess I uh, still so am trying to get used to the thrift stores here because, like I said, I'm not finding as many items that I would like to in order to send stuff into Amazon. But I also have a few items from uh, the town where I used to live in. I actually went up there because I just wanted to see a new and uh, or see a new scenery because I've been sitting and staying in the same house for over a month now since we moved. So just needed a change of scenery, which is great. I didn't find a whole bunch because I only went to Salvation Army. So I don't really have that much from there because I only went to one store. but. My parents have off for the next uh, about two weeks just because they needed a break and they just wanted to stay up here and, you know, get acquainted with us because I don't see them very often. So, yeah, I'll have the car and I might just go so, uh, roaming around and seeing what I can find, especially because I need to make a little extra money and gather up some more stuff so that way I have some uh, merchandise to sell for Q4. So anyway, getting into the stuff. This was at the uh, Salvation Army. This is a... Surprisingly, new and sealed 1989 Parker Brothers Penty game, and I think it's hilarious that the uh, special promotion uh, was a dollar ninety nine, and then it says it's a fourteen dollar value or fourteen ninety nine value, brand new and sealed. Believe it or not, this is actually um, Amazon fulfillable. I think I'm gonna get about thirty five dollars for this game here, new and sealed, and for two bucks. After fees, I'm probably gonna net maybe. Twenty-five, six, seven dollars I can't remember what the fee was, but brand new and sealed from 1989. Can't beat that. From the consignment shop, I found something that was really unique and unusual, and I'd never seen one before. I'm actually going to need my phone because i got to show you guys some uh, uh, pictures of some sold listings because it's just easier if I do that. All right, so let's see here. I hope I snap pictures of them. No, I guess I didn't, but um, anyway. I don't know what era this is from, but this is a really cool um, ball and wooden spring toy, and it's shaped like an Adam, like a Sputnik era toy. I'm guessing, oh God, I don't even know, but People say they're from the 70s. I don't personally think that this toy specifically is from the 70s, judging by the style of it. I paid $5 for it. Oh, the sticky note came off. And it's made by this name right here. It's uh, Kuvayas. It's Greek. And I just, I didn't know how to research it because I didn't know what company made it or anything like that. I just kept uh, typing it into Google like, ball wooden spring atom toy and I finally came up with the uh, with the manufacturer's name and a couple listings so I paid five bucks one of these sold for hundred and twenty five dollars one sold for forty five dollars one sold for uh, thirty six no forty eight sorry and then thirty six shipping was kinda high I don't understand why people try to charge so much for shipping but I love this thing I don't think I'll ever sell it but if I ever do I can probably get $40 just for this toy. And the other ones that were on eBay did not have the musical function in it. So that kind of adds more to the value, especially if it works. It does have some marks on it, but I mean, again, with a toy as old as this one, it doesn't surprise me. I just love that. It looks like an Atom. Okay, from eBay, I think I've only got a couple things here. All right, this is something that I have wanted for a really long time, and I'm so happy that I got it. This is an April 7th, 1952 edition of Life Magazine with Marilyn Monroe on the cover. So as you can see, or I don't know if you all will be able to see, it is pretty dirty, but I didn't mind that because the uh, seller was offering it for $9, or best offer. There were like five watchers on it when I decided to send him in an offer. And he ended up for nine, and then I sent him an offer of five, thinking, oh, he's not going to take it because that's like less than half of what he was asking, or a little less than half. 
but he accepted it and I've pilfered through it and it's a really cool magazine. This, if you ever find it when you're at flea marketing or even at consignment shops or antique shops, this issue of Life Magazine, depending on the condition, can go for up to a hundred bucks. I think it's just because it has Marilyn on it. Anything with Marilyn's face on it from the 50s is definitely worth money. I don't know why, especially even though it's only paper. Look at the 1953 Playboy magazine that's original. That goes for a couple thousand dollars. And if you're ever interested in getting one of those, don't ever pay the $250,000 that the people who are selling it are offering it for because you're paying for the grading, basically. So that's what I got from eBay. Now we're going to get into the Wish stuff. If you all don't know what Wish is, it's basically like an online shopping site where you can get uh, imported stuff from China. You can get some pretty decent things for pretty decent deals. Some stuff is in. I've had the experiences where I wasn't satisfied with stuff, but I mean, you get what you pay for. So these are vintage inspired. So the first are actually all three of the pieces that I'm going to show you are keychains. If you guys don't know that, I was actually a keychain collector for many years. I think I stopped when I was probably right around the time I started collecting vintage stuff. So probably 15 maybe. But anyway, I started picking them up again, but I'm more selective. I even actually pilfered through the collection that I had because I had probably four or five bins full. And I just said, you know, not all these I want anymore. And it was just time to pare them down. And I really did pare them down. So I paid 95 cents a piece for these ones. They are vintage -y Christmas. Um, I, maybe I'll focus on one, sorry. So this one's just a Santa head, very vintage looking. And then I got this one, which is an old, uh, the cover of an old Frosty the Snowman book, which I used to have, but I got rid of because it was just in such poor shape. So I thought those were cool, and for 95 cents a piece, that was a really good deal. Now, I actually bought this one for about five bucks maybe a year or so ago. It's just Marilyn. Come on. And... Then I saw that they were offering it for free. So I took that, and uh, usually Wish will offer stuff for free, but then you have to pay shipping, which is not too bad. So it's probably like $2 to ship. So I have one that's going into the collection, and then I have this one that I'm going to throw onto my keys. Okay, so that's it for the Wish stuff. Oh yeah, there's another eBay item. So do you all remember I bought one of these a long time ago? It's the Layoff. This is the Old Man's Private Stuff uh, jug with the pinup girl decanter on it. Well, when I was packing up all my stuff in my bedroom back home, or in my old house, I tripped on the girl and I broke her leg off. And needless to say, I was not a happy camper about that. So I got another one of these. I actually had to buy a whole nother jug and it cost me about $14.95, which is not bad considering all the other dealers are trying to ask $30 and $40 for it. She does have some crazing on her, which I expect from something that's so old. But if you look at her from a distance, you really can't tell. So what I'm gonna do is, um, unfortunately she does not fit into the jug. The cork was not the same size like in this one. So what I figured I will do is I will take a few layers of uh, hot glue and just go over the uh, part where the cork was, or the stopper, and make a few layers, and then I'll stick her into the jug. That way, it can still be functional, because I cut off the cork to do that. I just thought that would make it easier, and I can still show her off like that, like she used to be. So that was $14.95, I had this jug. The other one that I have is actually, um, the letters are painted on there. This one has lay, lays, uh, what do you call that? Le or, um, leveled letters, or raised letters, and then it's painted. So I like that much better than the other one. All right, now we can get to the thrift store items. I have a couple things that aren't vintage, but I figured, you know, they were kind of fun anyway, so I wanted to share them with you. So let me see. I think I spent a total of about $14 yesterday, and now I did find some stuff for me to keep, and I'll more stuff stuff to sell, which is great, I think. Okay, so let me start off with the very first thing that I spotted. Now, I'm sure you guys are probably thinking, what the heck are these? I've actually seen Liz Retro's Retro's haul these, and she uses them. These are milk glass, hobnail styled uh, votives with the grommets in them. I'll take one out so you guys can see them. 
they have a Fenton look to them because of the hobnail. And they actually have the grommets on the bottom, which is that plastic or rubber stopper on the bottom to prevent them from uh, breaking or ruining the uh, candlestick you're going to put them in. I don't see any cracks or chips on any of these. I paid 99 cents for the bag of them, so that's about 25 cents a piece. And let me show you guys the listing. I took a picture of it. That's why I was um, talking about it. I don't know how well you all will be able to see this, but um, a set of these, a four, sold on eBay for $24 in free shipping. So if I sell them for $25, that's pretty good uh, profit there. Uh, I looked them up individually to see how much they were going for, and individually they don't go for crap. So if you have a lot of them, like if you have four or six or eight or ten, you'll do better that way. Because if you group things, people will want to will buy them. So a whole bag for $0.99 cents, I'm going to turn into 25 bucks. That's pretty darn good. So that was from the first Goodwill. And then from the second, or from the same Goodwill, I picked up this uh, Magenta Anchor mug. I don't know what it is with anchors, but I've got an anchor mug, I've got anchor shirts, I've got anchors on my back wall, I've got an anchor photo frame back there with some pictures of the beach, I've got a metal light up anchor that I got at CVS. I'm anchor crazy. I love it. And what's funny is this is made by uh, Magenta, who is the company that issues the Ray Dunn stuff, and I only paid a whopping 59 cents for it. Again, not vintage, but I mean, I had to share it with you because it was fun. All right, from that same, and actually this is from the Salvation Army. More, I got more stuff at Salvation Army than I did at Goodwill. I picked up this really cool um, gold and white, it looks like it's mother of pearl glazed, uh, fish. That cost me a whopping 50 cents. They're not worth anything, so I'm going to keep it for myself because I love that beachy theme. That's probably from the 50s or the 60s. For a dollar, my friend spotted this 1960s uh, plaid lunchbox. It's in rough shape, I would say. I mean, there's rust and everything, but you can definitely tell it's old. Uh, part of the decal on here is peeling. I don't know if you all will be able to see that. But I did look this up, and this goes, I'm going to probably ask about $14.99 for it. I'm uh, probably not going to do best offer because I just want to be able to sell it and get it out of here because it is rough. But I'm thinking if you put it on this side as opposed to this side, it'll be a great display piece. And for a buck, my friend spot is taking care if I bought it, which is awesome. Okay, I got this for 75 cents. This is a Dansk Designs French uh, enamel wear sauce pan. Not a sauce pan, like a sauce pour. Um, oh, not eBay, sorry. I have some pictures to show you through completed listings on eBay. So let's start here. So someone had the saucepan with the wooden handle and they had sold it for $30, but as you can see, they wanted $20.95 to ship it, which is ridiculous. I'm not going to charge that to ship something. And then this exact one, it says it's near mint. Sold for $46.95 and they wanted $17.61 to ship it. I assume that's the same thing, or maybe not. And then this one sold for $39.99 and they wanted $12 to ship it. I'm not sure if this will um, sell for that much, but I'm thinking $25 maybe. It's not, a, it's not a cord, it's not a huge thing. It's a small, like, handheld piece. But that was pretty interesting. So I said for 75 cents for Dansk, that's pretty good. And if it's not worth anything, I'll, I'll save it for myself. But for 75 cents, I couldn't beat that. For $1.50, I picked up this really cool box of Dixon's Typhonite Eldorado uh, pencils. I thought they would be worth something. Unfortunately, I should have done my research when I was up at the register. But I know Pudgy Picker, Jen, has been uh, saying to pick up these pencils because people still do buy them. This box, considering it's not full of the pencils, will probably only sell for maybe five, six, seven dollars. So I'm just going to keep it because I think the box is really, really cool. All right. For nostalgic purposes, I bought this, um, a, it, I don't, it's a soap dish because it has a flat uh, surface on top. It's a mermaid riding a dolphin. It has the name Holland Mold on it. 
Back in the 60s and 70s doing projects like this with fake ceramics, and when I say fake ceramics, I mean they were already made, and then you glazed them and then you put them into the kiln and then, you know, they turned into that smooth glazing. Back in the 60s and 70s, my grandmother used to do this with her sister. Late 60s, early 70s, they used to do that when this um, thing was trendy. And my grandmother had one of these and she put our name on it and it sat in our bathroom for years and then we rediscovered it when she passed away. We put it out for a while. Once we moved, about a month ago, we threw it out because it was gross and chipped and ugh. And then I saw it again for, um, let's see, it was about $1.50. These aren't worth anything, but this just has a nostalgic memory to it. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I found this. Um, I actually saw it and I was like, eh, I'm not crazy about it. But then, you know, I got to thinking, you know, maybe I should go snatch it. And I actually went back to the same thrift store that where this was that day or yesterday to get it because I was afraid someone else would snatch it. And thankfully they didn't. We're going to probably put that in our bathroom and I'll probably use it in my future bathroom when I get one or when, when I have my own house anyway. Not shipped or anything, which is great. And only for $1.50, that was a pretty good deal. All right. Digging through the keychain bins again, they had, had them up front where all the jewelry was. I found these awesome uh, keychains from 1998 featuring a Lost in the 50s theme. You have one with um, the Route 66 diner with the back of a 55, 57 Chevy. These were 25 cents a piece. You got a couple. One is wearing a poodle skirt and the other one's got like an Elvis style to them. And then I got this one with a jukebox and it says Lost in the 50s. Thought that was really, really cool for 25 cents a piece. Completely me and these would definitely go into my collection. All right, again, running with the not vintage stuff I found two Vera Bradley purses. Now I know that the Vera Bradley market is pretty much tanked, especially with the uh, quality decreasing, but these were really, really clean. I don't know how well you all will be able to tell, but they're very, very clean. I didn't see any staining or rips or anything in these. And I think I've sold this pattern before. Uh, if you guys know the patterns for these on the top of your head, let me know in the comments below. I also would like to know all you ladies out there, what do you call this bag? Because it's not very big. I mean, it looks like something you could just throw your uh, your phone in and your wallet, like if you're going out for an evening and you don't want to carry your big old heavy purse. I thought they would be called evening bags just because they're smaller. And I only paid $3 a piece for them, so I'll probably maybe $20, $25. I'm not exactly sure. Also, if you've sold these before, let me know in the comments so that way I know how to price them. So those were for $3 a piece. And again, I didn't spend hardly anything at the thrift store. I just have to make sure that I'm listing this stuff so that way it'll move and that way I can go out and buy more stuff to sell. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you're interested in following me on other social media accounts, that's all in the description box down below. And thanks so much for watching.